And welcome everybody to the Daily Space Weather. Smasho here coming at you from the Smash News Network, least busted name in news. Congratulations on realizing the channel exists. We're bringing you the most comprehensive space weather content in the known universe. So here's some composite imagery from SDO consisting of yesterday, Christmas, as well as today. It's the last 24 hours. And we're coming at you a little bit late today. We slept in. Let's go around the horn and change wavelengths here. We're switching to 304 plus 94 angstroms. Red and green. Yes. The belated Christmas colors. So there is the northwestern limb. A little bit of CME happening. What in the fuck? Smashing things. All right. There's the northwestern limb. Here is the southwestern limb. There are some CMEs to cover. We'll get to it later in the video. Here's the southeastern limb. And we saved the northeastern limb for last because there's a new magnetically complex sunspot. You can see a CME happening there from the southeast. Here is the northeast. And this new sunspot group is, well, it's already producing some flaring, it looks like. We'll get to that also a little bit later in the video. First yesterday plus today in SDO uh, intensity gram. So yeah, this new sunspot rapidly gaining a bunch of umbrae there. That'll be sunspot 3176, I believe. Don't get hung up on the numbers. Here's your colorized magnetogram. We've got some sunspot, sunspot groups in the southern hemisphere as well. By the way, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to visit our links. You can find our links below the video and welcome to the Neo Renaissance. We built our own website back in 2019 in response to the pathetic and disgusting censorship of Facebook. Yes, now known as Meta, the declining, self-destructing big tech platform caused us to create a silver lining from the pathetic big tech cloud of putrid censorship. So do us a favor by helping us out with links. Do yourself a favor by becoming a member of SureMed. Right there is a link on the home page. It is not insurance. It is an association membership that affords you all sorts of discounts. Also, things like doctors by phone, counselors by phone, virtual veterinarians, and etc. All sorts of great services that you get as a being a member of the American Better Health Organization, DBA SureMed. I'm also a licensed Medicare insurance agent in 28 states. And if you'd like your insurance options checked out, Click the SureMed link, drop me a line, my contact information there on that custom URL, and let's see what's been erupting in terms of volcanoes. So Shivaluch on the Kamchatka Peninsula, certainly exploding and producing a 13,000-foot plume of volcanic ash. Manam now back on the list. So the Papua New Guinea volcano now exploding, producing a 10,000-foot plume of volcanic ash. Don't pull vault the caldera. Decono exploding, flight level 060. Popocatépetl exploding, flight level 200, 20,000-foot ash plume. Guatemala, not exactly sure if Fuego's erupting or not. Don't assume it isn't. Heed the exclusion zone if there is one. Sangay and Ecuador, just a hot spot. It looks like Sangay has calmed down here momentarily. Revenador, no recent volcanic ash emissions observed from Revenador. Cotopaxi, now the only erupting volcano in Ecuador, apparently. It is exploding, producing a 22,000-foot plume of volcanic ash, flight level 220, and down to Peru for Sabancaya. 22 to 26,000-foot volcanic ash plume as Sabancaya explodes. That's the situation, and let's take a look at earthquakes. So there's the past 90 days, no major quakes over the past 24 hours. Largest was a uh, mid-five level Magnitude quake, I think. There was a 5.4 at the east, the southern east Pacific rise there, kind of in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, a very unoccupied portion of the planet. A 5.4 and a 5.1 there. A little aftershock taking place only about eight minutes later. 
And just continuing up the list, if we miss anything, let us know in the comments. Is that Papua New Guinea? There we go. There's the 5.0 at Papua New Guinea. There was a 5.5 at Fiji there. That quake at extreme depth over 500 kilometers, estimated depth. South, South Sandwich Islands had a 5.1. Japan had a 5.1. And here's an interesting one. Ethiopia had a 5.5. So not super common there for quakes in Ethiopia. 5.5 magnitude quake there uh, south of the uh, Persian Gulf. Continuing on to go back to space. So welcome back to space. Here's some more composite imagery for, me, from, for you here. This is 1,700 angstroms plus 193 angstroms to show the extended corona. Again, this new sunspot rising here is looking a bit active. So we're delighted about